Sorrow, grief and fear has engulfed residents of Saka location, Tana River County. This is after a 16-year-old boy was stumbled to death by a stray hippo along River Tana. According to residents, Mohammed Abdi met his death while he was taking care of his father's livestock. His body was badly mutilated. Hapo watu watano. Tulikuwa tunachunga mbuzi. Na sisi wawili tulikuwa tunakaa pale tulikuwa tunapiga story. Ghafla mbuzi kataramuka pande hii. Sasa wale watatu walikuwa wametoka kurudisha ile mbuzi. Sasa wakati wameanza kutoka walikutana kiboko. Walipokutana kiboko sasa wakatawanyika wakakimbia. Ukimbia ghafla akamshika mmoja wetu na wakati sisi tulitaramuka kule juu tukamkuta akiwa tayari ameshamshika. Sasa wakati tulifika hapa amemshika kichwa, miguu akamvunja vunja, vunja akaingia kwa mto. Hapo ndio mali tumemfikia. The area chief Mumina Haruni said the hippos leave the river and go roaming next to the settlement areas looking for pasture. Eh, kufikia saa tisa hivi mimi nimepata habari ya kwamba kiboko amemuua kijana kwa majina anaitwa Mohamed Abdi Sambul Abdi Jeni. Eh, hapa inaitwa kijiji ya eh, Shangaladhano Honora Mada sub location. Hii inakuanga kawaida ya kwamba kiboko inafahamia watoto ama watu wazima kila wakati kwa sababu hii jamii inaishi hapa ni wafugaji na mara kwa mara wakati watu wanafugu wana, wanalisha mifugo yao wakikuja kwa maji huwa wanakumbana na shida kama hii ya kiboko hii ni kisa ya tatu ya kiboko imewahi tendeka hapa saka location e, wawili pamoja na huyu kijana wameuawa sofa mmoja ambaye ameepuka ame kifo amejeruhiwa lakini ameepuka Arun urged Kenya Wildlife Service to enhance patrols along the section of River Tana to keep off stray wild animals dressing near the human settlement. Kwa hivyo mimi ninaomba idara ya KWS wachukulie hatua hawa mifugo hawa hawa kiboko ambao hawa ambao wanaua kila wakati kwa sababu sio wote ambao ni hatari kuna wale ambao tayari wamekuwa wamekuwa hatari kabisa Huyo ni yule yule alikula ali, ali wakati yule Ramadhani, mzee anaitwa Ramadhani, akamjeruhi. Ni huyo huyo mmoja. Wananchi wamejua ya kwamba huyu ndio yule ambaye sasa amekuwa mnyama kupita kiasi na anakuanga ana mstuni, akilisha huko na anarudi masaa jioni kwa moto. Kwa hivyo tunaomba KWS waende wa, 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 waende ofisini washauriane huyu mmoja ambaye anasumbua watu hapa au, au akuwe eliminated. The area residents, led by member of county assembly Joe Madido, have accused the Kenya Wildlife Service for being lax and insensitive to the plight of area residents. Na kwamba wanyama wanatoka porini, wanatoka kwa maji, wanakuja wanaua wakaji wetu watana riba. Na mara nyingi unapata KWS, yeshirika mbe na jita KWS, wako pale kudefend wale wanyama. Sisi binadamu tumewacha mambo wa kuwinda wanyama. Lakini sasa imegeuka ya kwamba wanyama ndo wanawinda binadamu. Kama sisi kama binadamu tumeacha kuwa wanyama. Kwa sababu leo hii hata ukipatikana na mnyama mdogo ambaye anaitwa Digdig, utafungwa maisha ambayo hujawafikiria. Utapigwa fine ambaye haujawafikiria. Kwa nini kuwa mnyama iwe ni hatia na bado binadamu kuuliwa na mnyama isiwe ni hatia? So nachosema mimi KWS ni wasimambe pamoja na serikali wakikishi ya kwamba wanyama hawa wamezuuliwa kuhuwa binadamu. Hii siku penda kwa hiyo wakati ya ukame. Wakati ya ukame lazima eh, iyo wanyama kuja karimu na watu ndo upate malisho. Kwa nini uwoni wakati ya ukamvua ipatikani watu kuhuwa na wanyama. Hiyo inamanisha wakati ya ukame hawa wanyama na kuja karimu na, na wanadamu ndo upate malisho. Hivi za hii mwaona minyo nye yikiwa kwa hapo karibu. Hako hapo ndani ya maji lakini sio ameamua kijana ndani ya maji aliwe nje aliwe nje ya watoto huyu eh, mtoto nje ya eh, maji a number of residents who were killed by wildlife in the area have not been compensated some dating back to over 4 years ago hii ni mara kila ukame inazunguka inakuja kitu na nimeshangaa kwa nini KWS walipia watu wa compensate niwahi kuwa mtu mlanjo tulitoa habari hiyo mzee Hassan kasi aje 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 kompositiwa na wale wamekuwa nyuma yao wale kompositiwa na tumepiga ripoti kwa polisi na wale watu wa kadwesa gari wamekuja wakaangalia hiyo maiti wakashuhudia na imeenda so tunashangaa mimi 
kwa nini watu kwa sababu ya county Tana River watu kutoka Bura mpaka Garsieni wanakuwa sio wakiwa na ajali kama hii lakini ile yetu madogo haifanyiki na kama leo mkishuhudia nyinyi wa Nishabara walikuwa hapo wada ni wa Garissa alikuwa hapo ameshuhudia hii mtoto alipokufa na omba serikali ifanye kulipa wale watu wao na wanyama wote na kama wao watashindwa kuzuia binadamu wanyama kula binadamu <coughs> itabidi binadamu wenyewe waanze kujizuia hawa wanyama kabla hajafika hapo hii ni sheria ambayo imewekwa na inagandamiza sisi wananchi kwa sababu tunaishi hapa Tana River na tunashuhudia saa zote kupoteza wapendwa wetu hatutakubali maneno kama hayo tunataka serikali ingilie kati The body of Mohamed Abdi will be released to the family for burial in accordance to the Islamic rites at the Madogo Cemetery after the post-mortem. Davis Mberia, Ebru News.